Hey guys, how's it going? Phoenix Mech here, and today I'll be showing you how to have your own polymer farm. Now this is for hard polymer, not organic polymer. Even if you choose to go with organic polymer, stick around and I might have a tip or two for you guys as well. Now this isn't the only way to farm polymer, this is just a way I like doing it and it works for me. This is a method that can be used on any map you can make polymer on. You need a few things for this to work, but the most important things for the farm are two creatures, the Yankee and the Akatina, the snails. You will also need a fabricator to make polymer along with gasoline. That is the minimum needed. Basically what you want to do is you want to have a little outpost slash base in a location near an area that has a lot of obsidian spawns. I'm on the island right now and I have chosen the volcano. My base is outfitted with an industrial forge, vaults, chemistry bench, fabricator, smithies, refrigerator, and a bed. You can use the previous structures to all these just fine, meaning you don't have to have the upgraded versions for this to work. You also don't have to build up your base the same way I did, I just happened to build it this way because it fit. It just has to be big enough to put an Anki up inside of it. So what you'll do is you'll go out and you'll go harvest as much obsidian as you can with your Anki. Areas with obsidian usually have a lot of metal and crystal as well. You can make the choice whether you want to keep it or not. Once you're all full, bring it back to the base. When you get off the Anki, you'll want to be in a spot where you can access the Anki, the forge, and storage at the same time. Switch everything to your inventory and drop the metal in the forge and the obsidian in your storage container, along with anything else you want to store. If you have your fabricator on the same level, just make sure you can access it at the same time as your storage or even your Anki, and you can just drop it right in there. I happen to build mine this way so I can access the vault from the second floor through a hatch. Then I can just put it in the fabricator. The only reason you do this is when moving a lot of heavy resources, you'll most likely become encumbered or slow. This prevents you from having to take multiple trips between your dino and fabricator. Now for the cementing paste. I just keep snails for paste. Just make sure you have them enclosed somewhere because they must be on wander to produce paste and organic polymer. Put your paste in the fabricator and there you go. While the polymer is being made, you can go back out and get more obsidian. And that's pretty much the method. Depending on the area you're in, you may need to install a water tab and should definitely have a spawn point. You can literally fast travel here to farm for a little bit, then fast travel back to your base. When you're ready, you can pick up all the polymer at once. This is about how much polymer I got with regular rates and about 20 minutes of gathering by myself. I like this method since once stockpiled, I can take one trip to grab all the polymer as polymer doesn't spoil, as opposed to using organic polymer which does have a spoil timer. This method isn't for everyone. Depending on the map, meaning what creatures are available and not, and also how you like to play. I like passively collecting stuff so this works for me. I only have to go out a couple times on the Anki, and the pace pretty much just settles itself. How do you like to get your polymer? Leave a comment down below. If you found this video useful, give it a like, and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this, and to follow along with my ARC playthrough where I give many helpful tips and tricks on how to play the game. Thanks for watching, and take care.